I just ask you how you have found settling into Leinster, coming from a, a winning culture in New Zealand with the Crusaders, and to what really is another winning culture in, in Leinster rugby. Yeah, uh, thanks for the question. Um, yeah, settling in really well now. Um, I think I've been here for um, I don't know since August last year, so um, got a few months here in Dublin and. Um, Myself and my family have really enjoyed it. Um, we've enjoyed the lifestyle in Dublin, and um, you know the the environment here at Linster's has allowed us to do that as well. I mean, everyone um, from an administration point of view has been really supportive of of, of us like, to get get us settled, and and that's really put my put my mind at ease and let me uh, concentrate on on my job, which is uh, playing rugby. So. Um, in terms of the environment here, yeah, it's a, there's heaps of um, similarities between here and and um, in the Crusaders, and um, you know, with world class like surrounded by world class players, and you know, it's good to be around that, and and obviously the coaches as well, um, Leo, Stu, Robin, and and and, the, and and Felipe as well, all really good coaches. So it's good, it's great to be involved with them as well. Has that helped to has that helped you with the adjustment of like all of that even from uprooting from New Zealand, coming to Dublin, different part of the world, but you know that the whole culture, the whole um, environment it must be kind of similar to be fair about it to, uh, to what you've experienced back in New Zealand. Yeah, I mean it's it's made it a lot easier, I mean um, for, for myself anyway, like you know I'm really clear on, on what my purpose is and it's like every day is to come in and, and train as best I can and put my best foot forward and um, you know the Leinster environment's set up to, to help us succeed. You know from like the coaches are really approachable, um, easy to talk to, and and the players, um, especially the the top Irish players, they're all willing to help the younger guys. So um, that's that's all um, indicators of a of a strong environment, and and it's something that I've it's made the transition easier for me. And also, in, I mean, can I ask just about the situation where? You know, you played a, a number of games in, in European rugby. You played European, uh, the the uh, United Rugby Championship. Did you have any sort of preconceived ideas as to what what to expect? I assume that you'd seen some mm. games on TV or something like that. But to, to be here and experience it for, uh, for uh, at first hand. Yeah, I'd I'd say um, some of the preconceived ideas would be around uh, the contact area. Um, you know, I've heard from boys that have played over here in the past that the the contact areas, um, like especially. Around the ruck and and the tackle contest is it's a lot um, it's a lot more physical and and um, definitely hasn't disappointed in that in that regard like especially on the weekend and um, the other one will be around the set piece especially scrum so um, you know be a lot more um, contestable uh, in that area too and a bit more challenging than what what we get in New Zealand so um, yeah and and again. Um, it's been really good learning for me in both those areas, so, and um, it's good to be exposed to it. Um, you know, playing against um, English and French um, scrums and lineouts and and teams. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm only getting better as a player, being exposed to those um, styles of play as well. So, it's been great. And just a final question for me. I mean, you seem to be carrying the ball quite a lot as well you certainly did in the game against Bath is that a, an area of the game that you're, you're enjoying uh, the sort of physicality of the whole thing yeah definitely um, that's something that I really enjoyed um, I've, I've enjoyed for my whole career and um, you know now that I've now that I've settled into the team and, and sort of have a better understanding of how Lens to play it's 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 been good to uh, bring that side of my game out and put myself in position to get the ball so um, you know when you've got when you've got the caliber of front rowers that we have here, you know, like all the, the Irish boys um, that, that have gone to camp, like they're world class at it. So it's been good to watch them at work and, and, um, and learn from them too uh, with their ball carry. Cheers, man. Thanks a lot. Good to talk to you. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Cheers. Michael, how are things? That's Bernard. Yeah, no, Bernard, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks, so you Good. Good, good. I suppose just following on from what Michael said there, on the back of the two performances in the last week, how would you describe the commanding position, I suppose, that Leinster are in at the moment? Um, oh, well, I'd say, um, you know, we've, you know we've, we've put a lot of points on, on, the, on the scoreboard, obviously, but um, um, there, are, there are a lot of things that we can work on, um, I think, especially in both games, there were a lot of opportunities that were missed as well, so... Um, 
you know, that's something that we're look to, looking to tidy up on this week, um, heading into Cardiff uh, and, and building, uh, especially in this period where all our internationals are gone. Um, so, yeah, just tidying up those little things in our game and executing on the opportunities that all, the, all of the opportunities that we're creating, really. Just a quick second one for me. Obviously, it's Connacht up next, um, and also after April in the uh, in, in the Heineken Cup. You know, the venue is still to be decided. As a player, a big game like that is that a game you'd love to see played, if possible, at the Aviva Stadium? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I still haven't played in front of a, a full crowd at the Aviva yet. Um, you know, but you know, given that the restrictions have eased off a bit, you know, it'll be it'll be awesome to have the game there. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be something special, and um, you know. Hopefully, like we we build well towards those games between now and then, um, especially in the Six Nations period. But um, yeah, it'll be awesome to be a part of. Great stuff. Best of luck. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, Michael Glennon, there, please. Thanks. Hi, Michael. How are you? Yeah. Good. Um, Yourself? Yeah, good. Not so bad. Um, when when you were talking about settling in and. Obviously, it must have been difficult with the restrictions and all that, but how have your family settled in? Who have you got with you? And have any family come over? Or is there any plans to get family over, extended family yeah. over to, to see, <clears throat> see you play a match? Um, so my wife and my son moved over with me and, um, you know, they've done really well to settle in. Like, my son goes to creche and, um, yeah, my wife's um, She's got a good support network around her. Um, you know, there's a few boys that have... So a few of the players that have moved from New Zealand already, like um, like uh, Jamison and and James Lowe as well. So it's been good for Kara to to talk to their partners around their transition, and and um, you know Gemma Gemma has kids as well, so it's been good to talk to them um, around how the Irish system works with with um, with schools and and uh, and healthcare and stuff like that as well. So that's been a really big help, um, and yeah. In next week my parents are coming so um you know australia's borders are open which is great so they can they can come here and and it's great that everything's opened up now um in ireland because they can come here and enjoy it a bit a bit more than what we thought so we good to to take them around and show them show them a bit of dublin and they'll get down to a couple of the games hopefully that's great how long is it since you saw them last did you come directly or had you been over to to australia uh, we came directly, but I saw them. Um, I saw them in the middle of the year because we we played there for we played in Sydney for the Crusaders. But um, like my wife, she hasn't been home for for since before COVID. So it'll be great for her to see um, to see people from home as well. So um, yeah, we're really looking forward to them coming. Very good. And last one for me. What do you do in terms of hobbies when you're trying to switch off from rugby? I mean, would you? have been a cricketer or would you watch the Ashes when they were on or tennis or how do you um, try to switch off if you do ever switch off from rugby um, what are your hobbies it's a bit hard at the moment uh, because my hands are full with my son um, so like uh, every time I get home I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm straight into dad mode trying to trying to look after him and, and um, give my wife a bit of a break um, but I mean I like I like playing the guitar that's something that I do um, at home at home and, and my son loves it too he, he'll he pick up the ukulele and play play a bit with me as well so that's that's a bit of fun but um, uh, yeah he, he keeps me really busy very good what do you play what style do you play rock and roll or is it country uh, and western or oh uh, a bit, bit of Samoan music and a bit of reggae that's probably a bit more my style um, yeah I'm not I'm not very good just Good. <laughs> it's sort of, sort of something that I just do at home to myself. Uh, <laughs> I, won't, I won't be bringing it to any team things or anything anytime soon. You will. You will. <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks very much, Michael. All the best. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Uh, okay, guys, throw it to the floor there, Don Swift, if you have a question. Hello, Michael. It's Don here. It's not on screen, but that's Don Swift. Okay. Yeah, crack on, Don. I'm sure you're, you're looking, for, I'm sure you're looking forward to, to the last 16, but. You know, people compare Leinster with the Crusaders, but would you compare Connacht with the Turbos? Uh, well, Connacht with the Turbos? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit, maybe. Um, I haven't, I haven't played them uh, many times, but when they played us, they were, they were really good. When um, 
when we played them last. So, um, and I've actually got a, a, a good friend of mine that is that contact that I played with at the Turbos. So it's, it's funny that you made that connection. Um, uh, but yeah. Who, who, um, who, who, play, who played for Malawa too? Uh, tia Tia Tui um, oh, they right. new, their new set that's just come over. So he, I played, we played together for Samoa, and, and but I first met him at the Turbo. So um, yeah, and we actually went to Galway a couple of weeks ago and met, um, got to meet up, uh, meet Bundy for the first time as well. So it's been, it's been good to to uh, connect with some of the Samoan boys in in Ireland as well. Um, we really enjoyed that. It's made me. For myself personally and, and for my family, it's made me feel a bit more at home, so it's been good. Yeah. That's just a good looking card, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks, Don. Unless there's any final question from the floor, guys, we'll leave it at that. We'll get Stuart Lancaster in. No? Can I just ask one, Dan? Yeah, very quickly, Jerry, thank you. Yeah, uh, Michael, how are you? Um, good, good, yourself? I'd just like to ask you how, how you find the, uh, the pace of the game that Leinster play. Mm. Um, obviously, it, you know, you mentioned with the Crusaders who play a sort of a fast, expansive game. Do you find the, the Leinster one uh, very similar or are there slight subtle differences in the way they play? Yeah, there, there are subtle differences. And um, yeah, I'd say, I mean, like going back to what I said about the front rowers, I mean, we're, we're expected to be... Um, to be fit, to be able to, to do our job at set piece, but the, to be able to offer something in, in a, especially in our attacking shape as well. Um, because, you know, if, if we can't, then we're going to get found out, like the way that Stu wants us to play. So um, it, it's an attacking style of rugby, but there's a lot of running in it. And um, it did take me a few weeks of preseason to, to get my head around it. But um, as I said before, um, I feel like. Um, like putting my hand up for a few more carries now because I've got a better understanding of how we play. So, um, yeah, it's sinking in now. Yeah. 